Good day. In this lecture, I would like to present uh, you the experiences of our RECMA project, Resilience Beyond Emergency, after an environmental risk such as an earthquake. Um, the project consisted on assessing risk management once the emergency situation of an acute shock was already over. Thus, in an attempt to, to help making use of our expertise, the Chair of Land Management tandem with Universidad de las Américas Puebla in Mexico in a collaborative research project financed by the German, uh, German Federal Ministry of Education and Research, that's uh, BMBF. And through a science slam, we won uh, a grant of 15,000 euros, which all allowed us to, to make miracles by investing in capacity building for community engagement. We had activities such as uh, workshops on resilience and RGIS, an open stakeholders forum, and a learning by doing training on vernacular Adobe architecture for the community to, to learn how to rebuild their houses through the reconstruction of the house of an affected family. Uh, let me start from the beginning. In 2017, um, three major earthquakes devastated Mexico. The second one, a magnitude 7.1 earthquake hit the center of the country uh, on the 19th of September. It caused uh, 370 deaths, more than 6,000 injured people, and the damages of the three earthquakes together are estimated in 44,000 buildings and more than uh, one and a half billion euros. What was the response of the official institutions and the civil population? Um, well, they, they ranked from uh, fake heroic operations to, to international aid that was sent and not received or not distributed to the thousands of building permits that were issued without complying with the regulations and thus many buildings could not resist the seismic movements. Concretely in our case study in Tochimilco, the mayor um, suddenly disappeared leaving the population helpless for weeks. And when she finally came back to the workstation, the municip municipal authorities um, distributed pre-assembled packages of uh, cement bags, concrete blocks, and steel rods to the affected community, disregarding that the mixture of these construction techniques with the vernacular Adobe architecture is not only incompatible, but the perfect formula to make the buildings collapse without the need of an earthquake. Um, there was uh, another kind of response which was more positive. Um, that was the, the work of uh, rescue dogs who located more than 70 victims and uh, also the, the multitude of volunteers who mobilized en masse to offer their help. It is um, evident that despite the lack of trust to the government and, and to the media, Mexico is a country of human quality, solidarity and resources. Mexico is resilient because it has the capacity to, to survive, to adapt and overcome. This is what resilience is, uh, is about. And with this idea in, in mind, let us see the different pieces of the puzzle. We have um, areas completely devastated by the earthquakes. We have international aid. We had uh, distrust in the official institutions. We have civil population volunteering. And one year since the earthquakes until the beginning of our project, as the actions on, on small towns were already um, abandoned after the initial collective euphoria for, for volunteering. What to do with all of these pieces? Well, to put everything together, we built a dream team. The Chair of Land Management at, uh, at the Technical University of Munich and the School of Architecture at uh, Universidad de las America, Americas Puebla in Mexico. From Tom's side, we have the technical knowledge about mapping, GIS, remote sensing, photogrammetry. We know about um, environmental risk management, such as floods, landslides, fires, droughts, earthquakes, even climate change. Um, we know about land information infrastructures, about civil protection and defense. Etc. And from UDLAP side, um, Universidad de las Americas Puebla, they know everything about local architecture, about uh, built heritage. They have the human resources, the, the connections with the local partners and, and local stakeholders. And most importantly, they are located near the epicenter of the second earthquake. Thus, they have the, the experience. They provided the case study and the communication with the affected community. The picture speaks 
uh, for themselves. They saw the, the two land management students flying uh, a drone, see uh, the, the remote here. And uh, these are wood lab architecture students evaluating the structural damages of uh, different buildings immediately after the earthquake. And this takes us to the case study. The epicenter of the second earthquake was not far from Popocatépetl Volcano, in a small town called Tochimilco, located at about 50 kilometers from the city of Puebla, uh, and also about 175 kilometers from Mexico City. Um, Tochimilco, which is our selected case study, is located in a risk area one because of volcanic hazards, uh, floods, and now also earthquakes. It is a small town with less than 20,000 inhabitants with its own identity, heritage sites, uh, colonial architecture built with local materials such as mud and volcanic stone that was severely damaged due to the earthquake. Thus, RECMA project focused on international transdisciplinary collaboration, human capacity building, stakeholders participation, community engagement, and knowledge exchange to, to strengthen governance and catalyze the resilience of Tochimilco. To do so, we, we designed an action plan to, to address strategic planning, risk management, project development, and cartography update. With a UAV expert, we conducted 16 drone flight missions with a Phantom 4 Pro drone and captured uh, 3,181 images of Tochimilco. Um, the, the data received from the UAV were uh, processed with the help of the chair of photogrammetry at TUM with uh, PIX4D software to create a high resolution autophoto, which enabled us to, to draw a highly detailed map of Tochimilco using RGIS software. The auto photo is unfortunately too, too heavy to put here. So I put this beautiful aerial picture that we took with the drone. We use a, a Phantom 4 Pro drone for the flights that was courtesy of UDLA. The flying height was 100 meters. The image overlap of the uh, in the flying direction or the, the end lap was 75%. And the overlap of the, sides, uh, of the side uh, lap was 68%. The, Unusually high site lapse increased the level of detail and decreased the, the error uh, rate of the final image. Now, why did we need an updated cartography of the Chinilco? Well, to assess risk management, to define boundaries, to prevent land conflicts, to identify high risk areas for eruptions, for floods, to trace emergency and evacuation plans, to identify the, the different land uses, and to design a rural and urban development strategy. With the updated cartography, five experts from, from Germany, Rwanda, and Spain flew to Mexico in order to do field visits and conduct a series of activities. We trained um, wood lab uh, lecturers in the use of RGIS with, uh, with a workshop because, yes, for, for architects, for um, spatial planners, for land managers, cartographers, uh, uh, the, the visual representation of the territory is our common language and our working tool. We also had an open stakeholders forum, um, stakeholders to, to rebuild Mexico, which was the basis to outline the agenda of risk management delivered to the municipal authorities with the participation of yes, different stakeholders, um, ranking from the local community, uh, NGOs, academics, professionals, local authorities. Um, we based on the multidisciplinary framework of the 100 Resilient Cities program, now, uh, now called the Resilient Cities Network by the Rockefeller Foundation, to design through uh, international workshops with 40 students from um, architecture, land management, civil engineering, and biology, a set of uh, six overlapping resilience strategies for um, Tochimilco under the topics of uh, emergency response uh, based on the principles of good governance, social and political structures to understand the, the, the structures of power, um, public space, intangible and built heritage, 
water management based on the local systems of, uh, of canals and reservoirs, and economic reactivation through agriculture. The, um, the economy of, uh, of Tochimilco relies on agriculture. They cultivate avocado and is uh, severely damaged, not only because of the earthquakes, but also due to migration of, um, of uh, the farmers to the United States or to big, um, uh, bigger cities. So we wanted to also empower uh, women um, through boosting the uh, agricultural economy. Later on, we conducted the learning by doing training, construction and Adobe architecture consisting on five modules, um, Adobe construction and, and repair of distressed structures, um, hydraulic installations and, and eco techniques, uh, natural finishes on walls and facades, line treatment and building a house. All of those with the aim of rebuilding the house of an affected family while teaching 20 UDLAP students and Tochimilco community how to rebuild their own houses by respecting sustainable and vernacular architecture and using local materials. And this is also a way to, uh, to dodge um, weak governance. As I told you before, the, the mayor uh, hit during the earthquake, there was no emergency response, at least not immediately, and, and the, the aid that the people were receiving to, to rebuild their houses was uh, really poor and not uh, adequate. So they, um, they don't have to rely on the aid of the government, they can be resilient and they can be uh, self-sufficient. The whole project had an overall of 90 participants and 20 guest experts from, from TUM, Deutsches Museum, Universitat Politecnica de Catalunya, Universidad de las Américas Puebla, and local stakeholders. The sites of the compilation of the events proceedings, we published one master thesis um, and three joint papers, which you, you can read in the, in the following links. As you can see, capacity building through REGMA workshops was the, the, the kick of activity of a bigger action plan that led us to trace a strategic plan for sustainable development for Tochimilco based on resilience. Furthermore, we can apply this method and these tools through this kind of uh, transdisciplinary collaboration in many other case studies, especially in the context of climate change, in which emergency response strategies are increasingly urgent and recurrent. Um, this means that regardless of our actions to address the causes of climate change, we should be ready to face its effects, among them environmental risks with higher impact and frequency. To do so, the, the exchange of scientific knowledge through uh, strategic transdisciplinary collaboration, as in my experience, should enhance capacity building and community engagement for a better future. Thank you very much.